The hobby of fish keeping is a very rewarding one. You, the creator, get to play God, to set up a miniature world for a remarkable journey. As the creator of this world, you have to make all the choices. You, the creator, are responsible for everything that happens within this system. My reintroduction to fish keeping has taught me many new lessons as well as bringing back many old memories. The last video I produced on my fish tank left everyone with a bit of a cliffhanger. Ultimately, everything that happens within this little world falls on the creator. This is how the ending went. Within that video, there were actually hidden messages. I correlated these five fish to a group of five friends, and how these two blue fish and yellow garamis were like friends with differences. Fish are absolutely beautiful. But there's other things that exist in ecosystems that didn't exist in my tank. And I realized that was something I had to work on. This is my tank as of yesterday morning. I added two crayfish. I realized my tank didn't have all the components of an actual ecosystem. So I had begun to work on that. Algae began to grow. Perfect for this pagostomus to feed on and actually have a symbiotic relationship. He cleans the tank and the algae feeds him. At this point, I hadn't any native fish, just the two crayfish we rescued and raised from little bitty ones, and they grew fast, already molting up to four times since the last video was created. We added some live lily pads, but as these crayfish grew, I realized they actually feed on vegetation and mysteriously, fish started to turn up missing. What was a booming population of angelfish was dwindled down to just one solitary specimen. And my two blue garamis, there's only one left. We introduced several native fish, some very admirable fish from Florida. These selfie mollies exhibit bright blue fluorescent colored tails. Only the males exhibit these beautiful colors, and the females just look like your average minnow with stripes. I realized that this was an opportunity to breed these beautiful fish, and perhaps if I bred the right species, I could actually release them back into the environment and in some sense or way be contributing. One of the pregnant female mollies we pulled out of the tank and placed into a breeding cage. And after waiting like three weeks, it never had babies. So I decided to let it go back into the tank. Maybe it was just fat. But immediately after releasing this molly into the tank, it gave birth. And before I even saw the first live born baby, they were all consumed. As if she had finished her life cycle, she developed ick again in my tank. It was truly tragic and her weakened state allowed these crayfish to actually capture her. At this point we had lost all our live plants and we were losing fish. Yeah these guys are excellent scrubbers and clean the bottom of the tank not allowing any food to build up but it was at a cost and one that I didn't feel like we could afford which was truly tragic because I cared so much about these beautiful crustaceans. Like I said I'd actually raised them from such a small size. So, as a positive, we released them into our habitat we created right here in our yard. Stay tuned for a future video on that. And from that beautiful habitat, we extracted plants. Plants that we could reintroduce back into this ecosystem and get rid of some of this artificial foliage. Yeah, it looks good, but is it really benefiting this aquarium? Well, certainly. It keeps the fish comfortable and helps them feel like they're in a natural environment. Also creating surface area so small particles can settle and also grow algae so this beautiful plagostomus can feed. But live plants do so much more than that. They actually clean the water and suck out the harmful nitrogen. Also introducing small species like snails which further clean the tank and provide biodiversity. Since the introduction of the crayfish, I actually lost every specimen of my lily pads. But within their natural ecosystem, I found something that was 
suitably similar. These are actually dollar weed, and they're not truly fully aquatic plants, but they're some of the few species that do really well fully submerged. They've kept my pond crystal clear, combined with other plants and foliage, and we've created a real habitat out here in the pond. Like I said, stay tuned for a future video on that. After all this work was done, this is what the tank looks like now. We had lost yet another entire species. Crayfish are gone, rainbow fish is gone, down to one angelfish and one blue gourami. But we had introduced three new plant species to this aquarium. And with those plant species, who knows how many microorganisms are with it. I think this ecosystem is more diverse now than it's ever been. While we hadn't been successful in breeding self and mollies just yet, we have been very successful in breeding different minnow species from this area. And I'm going to show y'all more on that in my next video. Here's a sneak peek. If you like fish, please give this video a big thumbs up. We really appreciate it. And I want to give a huge shout out to Dexter's World. This guy is amazing. I have learned so much from Dexter's World, especially when pertaining to breeding fish, which I think the knowledge he has and shares with everybody in the YouTube community for free is priceless. In so doing, this plant will receive the necessary vitamins from this tank that is produced out of the waste of this fish. Well, they produce carbon dioxide, the plants need. And learning the knowledge he has can actually benefit our ecosystems and give us an idea of what we need to do to continue to breed fish and repopulate these dwindled ecosystems. Also, captive breeding of fish helps keep people from harvesting fish from wild ecosystems. Please go to Dexter's World and subscribe and let them know that I sent you. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. All these are organics. I don't use any fertilizer for this. I did not use any chemical for this because it's my principle to grow this in organic way, in a very natural way. Hopefully we'll see you next time. You can get out of this. Everyone wants to save the planet. I know we can do it. We, we are, are the many. many. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the colony. colony. Together we have the power to improve our planet. Don't ever underestimate it. The tools are right in front of us. It's your heart and mind at your fingertips. And now we have the connections. We're building a team with a mission all about conservation. Communication around the earth only takes seconds. Together we will change this planet. All this talk about extinction, so many good reasons to listen. Our existence. Grow a garden and reduce your dependence. Put native trees and flowers in it. Bees, Bees and butterflies, butterflies pollinate them. Seeds fall and create new plant seedlings. These plants take in carbon and create oxygen. That is a step towards a solution. That is your power in action. Making a difference, you have our support, friend. Thank you for every moment you listen. If you choose to, thank you for your subscription. I put everything into this content. So it's our one and only day. planet. All the support, I truly appreciate it. Your love alone makes it worth it. I've been stung over a dozen times. I'm not sure how many different places. By over a dozen different species, most with similar reactions. We must respect these bees for pollination. A little sting that is nothing. That's just their form of protection. We live in a colony. Are we really that different? New videos here every Thursday. That is my commitment. If you have the power to do something positive, you have the responsibility to do it. Well, I said it. I guess I'm obligated. I convinced myself and I'm excited for the changes. We need to be self-aware and stop waiting for legislation because growing more food means less pesticides to produce it, which means more pollinators like bees will not be affected. Growing our own food means an opportunity for you to teach a child what real food is because growing food for you means less fuel for transporting it. More food for you means less greenhouse gases. More food for you means less pollution and fertilizer in our water systems. Welcome to the great outdoors, friends. Let's make a difference. Every 
day a new adventure, a new creature. Shows like the crocodile winner. It became my goal to catch 